Alec Baldwin's involuntary manslaughter trial is underway. Prosecutors charging him after that fatal shooting on the set of the movie Russ back in 2021. Day three of witness testimony, it wrapped up earlier. The judge there, Mary Marlowe Summer, dismissing the jury now until Monday. She's been asked by the defense to dismiss the case over a dispute related to ammunition evidence. Court TV's crime and justice correspondent Matt Johnson on the scene for us in New Mexico. Matt, I'm glad you're there because you got all the answers. You were inside that courtroom today. Proceedings began and then they ended. What happened? Fiery proceedings outside of the presence of the jury. The jury seeing no testimony before they were sent home for the day, told to be back here at 8.30 in the morning. But that's the big question, whether or not they will be back here at 8.30 come Monday morning, because the judge could dismiss the case against Alec Baldwin later this afternoon. Here's where it stands. Um, the evidence uh, was not fully disclosed to the defense, according to them, and that's why they're pushing for this motion to dismiss. The day started with strong arguments where the defense claimed that ammunition turned over to police after the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial was not disclosed to the defense. The crime scene tech uh, under oath told the judge that she didn't find it relevant to this case with Alec Baldwin and then filed it under a different number, a different case file. The state said the ammunition didn't even match the crime scene and wasn't relevant to the case. But then in a shocking twist today, the judge wanted to see what was inside that evidence bag. She put on rubber gloves. She pulled out all of the ammunition. And to everyone's shock, including the prosecutors in this case, Starline Brass 45 Colts with silver primer, similar to the live rounds found on the set of Rust, were discovered and not disclosed to uh, the defense. The defense wants the case dismissed with prejudice, meaning that uh, charges cannot be filed against Alec Baldwin at a later date. Uh, the judge plans to hear from more witnesses outside of the presence of the jury, obviously. Later this afternoon, we're on a short lunch break, and then she could make a decision in this case, which could end it all. Matt, I was listening as, as these arguments were going back and forth, and, and the judge seemed to indicate that she wants the jury to hear everything. She says this is not something we want to happen without the jury listening to what's going on. How damaging will that be for the prosecution? Now, that was what the judge was saying before she dismissed the jury, because she was thinking that she could um, further hear testimony from key witnesses that um, could, uh, you know, add to her decision-making process, but at the end of the day, after a sidebar, she dismissed the jury. So now we're gonna hear from some key witnesses, including the ammunition supplier and possibly the attorney for Hannah Gutierrez-Reed um, later this afternoon, meaning we could get a decision as whether or not, you know, she's gonna dismiss the case today. Matt, final question before I let you go, because you guys at Court TV follow all of these cases for us, and, and what's different for us is not different for you, but correct me if I'm wrong, the judge is not happy with the prosecution. Well, that's what it would appear, but uh, of course, you know, um, I, you know, I just have to say that. That's what it would appear. She just did not look too happy in court today because a uh, judge really doesn't want to waste anybody's time, of course, the jury's time, and uh, the county's time if they if they have to dismiss it. Court TV's Matt Johnson for us. Matt, thanks for being with us because, like I said, you guys at Court TV, you know everything that's going on uh, with regards to the judicial system. Matt, thanks.